Okay, hi, I'm back with another piano lessons, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play a wedding dress. Now, in my previous lesson, I taught you guys how to play a little improvisation using the A, the F, the C, and the G. And luckily enough for that, for us, that is what the chord pattern of wedding dress is. So, you're going to play an A with the left hand. I already taught you guys how to play this A, E, A, and then C. F, C, F, A, C, G, C, E, G, D, G, B. And that's just the um, left hand. Oops. And that's basically it throughout the whole song. It will just continue that chord pattern. And, you know, I'm not going to exactly tell you how to play the exact notes because I learned by ear, but it should sound close enough, if not correct. Now for the right hand, um, I don't exactly know, you guys probably just have to look up the sheet music for it to be perfect, but um, the way I play it is, the first time I play a C and a G, right hand, I just play it really slowly, you guys can just mimic me because, you know, I don't really want to explain like how to play all the notes, and you can just play by ear, but I'll play it really slowly, you guys can take a look. And you just play it with the same time, playing the left hand. And that's basically the essentials for wedding dress. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to start reading music, okay? Um, just a sample piece. Um, there's a lot of things you need to know but first, like what this Rastakana Crochet equals 70 means, all these signs, but I'm going to go through that next lesson because it's quite a, uh, it's quite a lot to know. So I'm just going to get through the basics first and talk to you about how you figure out what these notes are. Now, a few basic things first, this thing here, treble clef, this thing here, bass clef, this basically means right hand, and this basically means left hand, but there are situations where you might see this right here, and that means you just treat your left hand like a right, your right hand, but none of that um, insert masturbation joke there, and that's probably for a very complex piece of music, but most music will basically have this form here. Right hand, left hand. Now, for the right hand, you can see there's a staff here, okay? Now, there are five lines, and there are, there are five lines, okay? And there are four holes in between the lines. Now, a good phrase to remember is, every good boy deserves fruit, okay? Every good boy deserves fruit. And that's basically E, G, B, D, F. So from bottom, bottom line, every good boy boy deserves fruit. So it'll be E, the, the bottom line will be an E, the next line will be a G, every good boy, so the next line will be a B, deserves fruit. So E, G, B, D, F. Now just, it'll take a while for you guys to get that in your head, but once you get that in your head, you can basically work out, right now you can work out what any of these um, notes are on a line. So this one here would be an E because it starts on the bottom line. Now this one here, it's on the fourth line, so let's go through it. Every good boy deserves. So that's a D right there. That goes from a D to an E. 
Now, the next step is working out, see this line here? This note here? It's underneath it, so you're thinking, hmm, what the hell? What the hell? I only know that every good boy deserves fruit. So to work out what this is here, we have to learn the spaces first. Now there are four line, there are four spaces here. And that's really easy. It's face. Okay, so the, the first space would be an F, the next space would be an A, the third space would be a C, and the fourth the last space would be an E. Now um, as I explain this to you, it's best if you find yourself a sheet of music as well so you can really relate to it and you can see what I'm talking about. So for the lines, every good boy deserves fruit from bottom to top and from the spaces from bottom to top, it's face, F-A-C-E. Now, basically how this works is the bottom line is an E, so find an E on the piano. Now, the, the, the bottom, the next is an F, which is the space. It just basically keeps going up like this. So these, these are the lines here. You can see it's every second note for the lines. E, every good boy deserves fruit. It's every second note. Now for the spaces, it's every second note as well, but it's in between the lines. So F, A, C, E for face. Okay? And every good boy deserves fruit. So to work out what this note here is, there's a space in between them. Well, you've got to find one that's alone first. Um, this note here, see, it's, uh, it's in the space underneath the E. So it would just be a D because you just go down one note. And this note here, it's got a line in between it, so it's it's underneath the space. So from the space, you go down to the next line. Very simple. Very simple. Um, if that if you guys didn't really get that, um, I can I'll explain to you again in the next lesson. But hopefully you guys did. And that's how you read the right hand. Um, for the left hand, we're going to use the same process, but it's a different different um. They start in different letters. So for the right hand, it's what I've been taught. You can make up any line you want, but it's just, it's basically G, B, D, F, A from bottom to top. So my word, the wording I use is green boots don't fit always. Okay, so green boots don't fit always. So the top one is an A, the bottom one's a G. Now for the spaces, I use all cows eat grass, so A, C, E, G. So for the right, for the left hand, you start here. So the bottom line is a G. Next line, B, D, F, A. Green boots don't fit always. Now for the um, spaces, it's all cows eat grass. Very simple, very simple. Now, another example here. You can see in the left hand, there's a note underneath the staff. So if the bottom line is a G, we just go down one to an F. Very simple. Now, there might be a few things you might come across and be like, oh, what the, what does this mean? This note here, it's in the left hand, and it's, well, let's count, let's see, what. let's work it out. Green boots don't fit. So that's an F, okay? But it's got a, it's got this symbol in front of it. What does that mean? It basically, that's a sharp. Basically, that means you have to raise the note by a semitone, so by one value. So you find the F first. Let's find this F. The F's here. But we have to raise the note because of this sharp. This means basically raise it. So we're going to the F. So we're playing the black note instead. So that's all that means. You just so this one here. All all cows eat grass. So that's a G. Or you could have worked it out by going up from the F, but it's a G sharp, because it's got a sharp next to it, so we have to play this one instead. There's also another symbol. It's basically this B little thing here. If that's in front of a note, all it means is, if it was a B and had that in front of it, all you would do is go down one instead. Instead of going up, you go down, and it's a B. It's that one there. Basically, um, sharps and flats, that's called a flat, by the way, um, just basically want you to play the black notes. There will be times that it might say B sharp and you play C, but um, very rarely they'll just write C because it's a lot easier. But you do have to realize that an A sharp, this is an A sharp here, it's exactly the same as a B flat. 
it just depends on the key it's written in. So I hope that um, that helps you um, find the sheet music and you can learn how to play wedding dress. You should be able to, and or you can just mimic what I played really slowly. Or you can actually read it yourself. But yeah, that's basically the left hand, remember? A, E. And keep practicing.